Hey YouTube guys, what's going on? I know it's been a while since I've done a video update on the small tank that I've recently done um, after I broke down my 75 gallon tank. Uh, so the tank's been running uh, roughly for a while now. I mean, I can't remember when I set it up to be honest, but um, it's been a little ups and downs. Um, the rock work is really not to my liking. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, it's rock work. It's whatever. I mean, it's just there. Um, I did a water change just now. I didn't really clean the glass that well, so sorry for the uh, algae on the glass there. But um, I added a power head to it, small power head to get some circulation in it. Um, the other smaller clownfish I had, um, unfortunately, didn't make it. Something happened with it. Uh, so I still have my big snowflake here, the uh, black eye snowflake. Um, I picked up this little guy recently at the uh, aquarium shop, uh, local to me, Strictly Fish. Uh, and he's been doing really well. I mean, I think they still nitpick at each other, but I think they're trying to establish dominance. And um, this guy actually has like a, on his gill there. I didn't notice until recently that his gill has like a little missing chunk of it, but it doesn't seem to affect him because he eats well, he does well. I mean, he's a really beautiful fish. Uh, I like it. I like the color patterns on him, but I never noticed his gill. Uh, but, or should I say the gill plate or cover or whatnot? But anyways, um, yeah, he's been doing good. Both of them have been doing good. They eat very well for me. I don't have any corals in the tank. I just have that frag that uh, I put from my other aquarium. And I mean, I really don't have anything other than that. There's some star polyp there. Uh, there's a rock anemone right in the center there. And I put a couple of frags of Pusillopora, but uh, it's not doing too well. Um, I really don't have much means of nutrient export other than water changes here. Um, I have a, I took off the filter stock because that thing would just get clogged all the time. And I bought one of these um, in-tank uh, baskets for the, uh, to cut out some uh, filter floss. So I cut out a bunch of filter floss. I bought like a giant roll of it at uh, Walmart. I think it's like pillow stuffing or something. And I just cut them in sheets and I just change them out every day. Um, top off I just use a, a gallon of here of uh, purified water from the store I have my additives there I have carbon GFO uh, some magnesium uh, two part some fish food scrubbing brush um, you know my basic routine things I keep on hand all the time um, like I said I added the uh, power head there I mean super cost effective for 20 bucks just to get some flow in the tank I mean I wanted to get one of those J bows but it just didn't happen and I don't want to fork out some money right now at the moment um, the only other addition I added to the tank other than the two clowns is there is a uh, there's a yellow watchman goby and he's really shy he's he lives in this cave in there somewhere in the middle there but he, he rarely, you know barely ever comes out and you know he pops his head in and out when uh, there's food um, he's really shy, but I mean he does eat he's there um, But uh back to the filtration uh, now that I got all the inhabitants out of the way, but um, like I said I got that basket there for, for um, in tank and it's basically a little Basket here that you put your filter floss in has holes on the bottom Oop. Has holes on the bottom there to drain out the water works very well The only thing is it clogs up almost every day, but that's fine. I mean it's not too bad. Um, I have in here is a filter bag, um, it's a media bag, I'm sorry, with carbon and GFO in it. I just dumped it right in the middle there just to get some type of um, help with filtration. I have uh, the Aquion heater in here and uh, the I'm still using the uh, Innovative Marine Pump that comes with it. I clean it out once in a while because it gets dirty, you know, some stuff gets through there and it clogs the tank. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's the basic Innovative Marine um, Fusion 10 gallon desktop tank. I have it on an Ikea uh, dresser or nightstand. 
with a little drawer on it. It's got the uh, skylight, six LEDs, three white, three blue. Uh, it's pretty simple. I just change the water in it. Uh, I try to do it every week, if not every other week. I uh, change it with use natural seawater since I have it abundant here. I don't have an RO unit, with, but uh, in the future I do plan on uh, using it or getting an RO. I'm sorry. Um, power management is basically a timer there for the light, a little strip there plugged in there to the wall, and um, that's basically it for the tank itself. Um, the only thing today is uh, today is um, kind of an update uh, for the, the tank. Uh, other than talking about what's the tank, you know, the tank inhabitants and everything it has in it, and how it's going, I did pick up something today uh, from a local reef club member, um, local aquarist here, and uh, I think it's really going to make the tank look sharp because this rock work isn't cutting it. So. Let me just walk outside here in my apartment here in my balcony because I have the uh, surprise in here. So basically what I picked up from him was I have a bucket here and I'm curing this new rock that I got. So I got this really nice rock from a local club member and I took tank water out of the tank today but I mean take a look at this rock. I mean the purple on it is amazing um, I really wanted to get some real reef rock but I didn't like the price I mean the price is really expensive on that sucker or for that rock but um, I found this from a local club member and he did his tank it's it's amazing um, it's made by uh, a gentleman that uh, I think he's local around here and it's basically a ragonite and he creates I think some kind of paste or whatever he turns it basically into a rock and then he paints it with the uh, purple color and you know I like I said I wanted to get the real reef rock which uh, has that purple coloration to it but this is gonna be quite the addition I mean the two pieces I have are more than enough and I'm sure I'm just having a cure here because I don't want to when I switch the rock over, I don't want a, a uh, I don't want any type of uh, cycle or anything. So I took the uh, water that I did today, that I did my water change with, I dumped it in the bucket, and I have a pump in there, and it's just circulating, and I'm just gonna let the rock do its thing and take let nature take its course, and uh, let it cycle on its own, and when it happens, it happens. I mean, I might add some food in there just to create some type of ammonia so that the cycle happens. But um, for now, this is what's happened. And uh, I can't wait to put that rock in here and uh, make that this tank look the way how it should with that rock. And I mean, eventually, I think I may upgrade the light because this light, it works. I mean, I, from what I understand, the reader can keep soft corals. But I would really like some, you know, customization. I would really like to add either a, a nice little Kessel, uh, the new Kessel that came out, the A120, I think it is, or possibly a uh, a uh, AI unit. Uh, I know the Aqua Illuminations came out with that small unit for nano tanks, which I'm sure is beautiful. I mean, I've seen it. But anyways, um, is he out? Well, he's right there, but. I don't know if you guys can make out his face. He is right there. <laughs> he's, he's really shy. He's right there, I think. Smack dab under that little rock crevice right there in the middle. I don't know if it comes out on camera because of the angle that I'm at. But anyways, that's the Gobi. But like I said, um, I really want to just make the tank look nice again. I, I, I mean... I haven't been able to really, really enjoy the tank, uh, even though I have it set up. And uh, I do want to do something as far as nutrient export. I have a two little fishies um, reactor that I wanted to set up for, but the reactor is kind of big for this tank, and it it really just looks, I mean, disgusting because you know it hangs off the side of it. I can't put it in the sun chambers. 
if I put it in the back of the aquarium, it, I mean, it's it's just really bulky and big, and it has these, you know, the tubing that pops up out of it. I mean, I, the purpose of this tank is to make it look sleek, you know, slim, you know, really nice, really, you know, appealing, and that little, that reactor sticking on the side of the tank isn't really going to cut it for me, and I'm sure my wife wouldn't like it, and the fact of the matter is, is that's a component that's outside of the tank, so if anything leaks or something breaks and it leaks out onto the floor, I really do not want to put water on these floors, um, especially being that we're on a third floor apartment building. The last thing I want is my bottom neighbors to come upstairs, hey, <laughs> your uh, whatever it is leaked water, and it made its way to my unit, so I don't want that. Um, but anyways, um, I can keep on rambling about that, <laughs> but uh, I do want to do the um, do either a reactor on this one of those maybe the uh, innovative marine reactors that are the nano ones that are small or I was really debating about getting an algae scrubber I know that Santa Monica has the uh, the drop algae scrubbers and um, from what I understand I think it may fit into the back chamber there and that would be some sort of nutrient export for the tank and I'm sure the tank will benefit off that. I mean, I had an algae scrubber before in my uh, in my previous 55, and in the 75, I don't, re I didn't really use it because I had the refugium set up. But um, this tank, I obviously in that back back chamber, it's all black. There's no windows there. I can't really set up a fuge. Um, I'm sure there is a way, but you know, I don't know. I just it seems to me like the algae scrubber is worth a try, and it's a little box you put into it. The algae grows into it. Nothing can get out of it. Um, the light goes inside of it. It's submersible. And I think you just hook up an air pump to it, which I have an air pump. If not, I, I can always get another one. Um, other air pumps are relatively cheap. And, uh, yeah, so basically that's it. I want to do that. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to get that t uh, that rock that I got, that artificial rock, um, time to cure. And once it's ready to go, I will take the rock out of this tank, put the new rock in it, and um, I may just drop some type of bacteria thing in here just to ensure that there may not be a spike, but I believe with that rock cured, I don't think I'll run into any problems. Um, the the guys, uh, the local club guy that sold it to me, uh, he told me that the guy told him that it's very porous, it's good, it feels really lightweight, and that's another thing too, because I don't want to add a ton of weight you know, to the tank. It's a small tank and uh, I'm sure that'll definitely help and to top it off the rock will look a lot nicer than this brown rock that's on here but um, yeah that's pretty much it I have I've got for now um, eventually uh, I'll do another video update when I set it up with the rock and um, who knows maybe I'll just get back into it and start doing a few more videos um, simple stuff keep you guys up to date on my experience and stuff that I found out um, I may start filming friends tanks or something like that and uh, I've really you know been thinking about doing stuff like that but I just you know I don't have much time now with my my daughter and my personal things going on in my life so, um, so that's why I just decided to do this quick YouTube video with my iPhone uh, plus the iPhone the new iPhone that has come out I got that new 7 plus and the cameras are great on this thing so it's basically shooting, in my opinion, like a digital camera. I mean, I'm not a photographer per se. I'm, I'm an amateur and, you know, I'm just a user of, you know, digital stuff and equipment. But, I mean, I think it's really good quality. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I definitely appreciate, you You know, my viewers, people who follow me, um, you know, keeping up and watching all this stuff. Even though I haven't put a video up to date in a while. Um but like I said, I really do appreciate it. Um, you know, I just do this for my viewers and people who follow me. And I like to share my experience because I want to make someone else's hobby. And, you know, I want to make someone else's life and hobby a lot easier than, in a sense, the struggles that I had before previously. Because, you know, I really didn't have a lot of experience but through research, YouTube, um, and all these other things that I found out. It's made, you know, local, local aquarium club and stuff like that. Uh, it's made my, my life easier, at least with the fish tank world. Um, so I just like to share my, my, my things, my opinions, my experiences. And uh, I try to do it for your benefit. And uh, I'll try to 
put some more videos up from experiences and things that I found out and uh, I really appreciate it guys thanks uh, I will post a new video hopefully within the next couple weeks uh, when I get that rock ready and uh, please like comment subscribe and uh, thanks for watching